Now, from the University of Okaboji, it's Okaboji Broadcast with Jeff B. Welcome to Okaboji Broadcast, everybody. It is History Wednesday, coming to you from the Dickinson County Museum. I've got a couple people here today because we're going to be playing a little trivia. Mary Dreyer, the director, is over there uh, by a computer and by my camera. Hi, Mary. Hey, Jeff. It's always good to see you. Always good to see you. We're, we're, we're so far apart today. I'm not used I know. To I'm not used to it either, but we'll survive. <laughs> we'll survive. All right. <laughs> You've got a, a trivia night coming up here pretty soon. We actually have two trivia events coming up. Ooh, okay, tell me. On Saturday at 1 o'clock, here at the museum, we are going to be doing Dickinson County Trivia. Okay. And it's going to be kind of a low-key, easy time, and, and we're mostly trying to get the kinks out of the system. We've got fabulous questions, though, and lots of old photos of the area. And then we're hitting the big screen on April 13th, 7 o'clock in the evening at West O. We are going to be presenting this same trivia night at West O. Fantastic. Yes. Well, we're going to do a little preview here. I'm would you be Pat Sajak and introduce, we know who I am, who's the other contestant here for Lakes Trivia? May I present Frank Christensen, who is not here as a volunteer like he has been in the past, but he is now on staff here at the Dickinson County Museum. And it's so fun having him around. He has been cleaning out our resource room and organizing it and doing all sorts of cool things. And he's going to be playing against you tonight, right, today, Frank. Jeff. What have we got? Best of 10 questions we're doing here for Anchor. I'm I'm here at your will. I don't know. I'm about to get involved. No, here. you aren't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Again, we each. Okay. I'm, I'm told them there's times up. Time is up here. Do I have to log? Uh, we are good. Nope. We are going to go to the next question. Oh. Okay. The scoreboard so is what, arousing zero to zero at this point. Let's take a look at uh, the scoreboard here. We've got uh, Frank Christensen and Jeff. We came up with those names very quickly. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Who built the Crescent Beach Hotel at Crescent Beach? Hmm. If I had a tick-tock, tick-tock thing, we'd be <laughs> doing that right now. Okay, mine's incorrect. Okay. I, I guessed it right. That's all I just guessed it right. <laughs> so the, the uh, score is... Uh, 963 Holy Frank to zero Jeff. <laughs> Come on, Jeff. We're talking about Vikings Super Bowls. This reminds me a little bit of it. <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead to the next one. Okay. Who built the oldest original house still standing today in Dickinson County? As far as we know. Okay. Now there is a, a huge clue for this one. <laughs> a huge clue. Yeah. And we both got it right. Yeah. Rolling Gardner. Yay. Yay. So let, let's take a look at the score. Oh, I'm coming up on the outside there. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Ready now, this it. one's a tough one. In what year did baseball's great Babe Ruth visit Okaboji? Oh, my gosh. Number one, I didn't know he did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to guess it was. Okay, <laughs> Rose are 1948. We got her. Right. 1875, Jeff. Look at that. Look at that score. I thought that was the year you guessed. <laughs> <laughs> I figured it wasn't while he was playing for the okay. game. Okay, here's an easy one. Okay, oh, the question's coming. Okay. On what lake was the original Queen Steamship ship launched? Ooh. You got it? Got it. Whoa, you both got yeah. it. You're almost neck and neck. Oh, we are neck and neck now. Okay. Wow. These are good questions. And you do get a little bit of extra credit for being the first one to have it. <laughs> yes, just, yes. Just to give you a second. Time, <laughs> time is important on okay. this. All okay. Right. What year was the original Queen steamship launched? Oh. Oops. Press the wrong screen, Jeff. <laughs> All right, here comes the answer. We both got it wrong, didn't we? <laughs> what was the answer on that The one? correct answer is 1883. 1883. Yes. All right. Okay, All right. here we go. Question. Oh, this is a great one. Between 1976 and 1977, what was the Barracuda on West Lake? Oh, my goodness. 
Mm, come on. Okay. Take a shot at it. <laughs> I, I, I guess submarine. How you? <laughs> you guess submarine. I, I think I probably won. <laughs> so, what was the answer? The correct that? answer is a pirate ship. Oh, I do know there's a pirate ship on. Yeah, I don't remember it at all. No. My goodness. Okay. Do you remember seeing it? No, I no, don't. not at all. No. It, it was a real deal. It was a lakeside bar, so I guess you know it's just Close. a train of thought. Yeah. That I enjoy. Okay. okay. So we are at. Uh, Never mind. Mm -hmm. Back to the store. Who built Hunter's Lodge? Hunter's Lodge. Yeah. Hunter's Lodge. And we have a lovely photo here from 1871 of Hunter's Lodge. I'm taking a shot. What was your guess, Jeff? It was uh, Orlando Crandall. Woo! You got it! Hot dog! Hot dog! <laughs> we do this every week. This is kind of fun. Yeah, Orlando Crandall went on to build, to build, Crandall's. Crandall's Lodge. Yes. Oh. Excellent guess. Okay. Okay. There's our score there. Jeff, you have the leaped lead. into the lead. Yeah. What question are we on? Uh, nine. Okay. okay. All right. What building did millionaire Benjamin Franklin Stevens build in Spirit Lake? Mm. There's a hint there with the photo. Okay. And Not correct. I think I got that one. And so, what did you guess, Frank? Stevens block. Oh, Excellent guess. The, there was a the hint there with the name, right now, the so. Stevens block. Okay. Okay, better luck next time, Jeff. <laughs> so Frank has run into the lead on this. Yes, he has. Well, it's close. We're almost to final jeopardy. Oh, this is a good one. The Egwahar Bottling Company invented orange crush soda pop. True or false? I said false. Good for you. <laughs> Did you, Frank? <laughs> I said true. Uh -oh. I had to give him credit. <laughs> <laughs> it was false. It's one of those 50 50 shots. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Which I always lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 47 28. Okay. This is a great one. Okay. What was the first location of the art center? Mm. And there is a definite clue with the photo. And I got my answer in. In the Smith Dairy nope. Barn. Nope. Oh, okay. That was way back in the beginning of the Lakes yep. Art Center. Shall we do two more? Sure, let's do two more. Okay, these better be good ones. Take a look at the score. How okay. many railroad depots or stations have been in Dickinson County? Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> the pressure's on you guys. It is. Mm. Pressure, pressure, pressure. The correct answer yeah, is... Eight. It is lucky eight. guess. I get a lucky eight, guess. Eight, eight, eight. Okay. This is the last one. Okay. It is a chance for, well, Frank is in the lead. He's in the lead. Jeff, this it's is, your chance. Yep. Okay, Where, here we go. Takes all. 100 points between us here. Yep. What famous actor spent the night at Okaboji in 2004 after his airplane malfunctioned? Oh, come on. Tom Cruise, Fred Astaire, Harrison Ford, or Jimmy Stewart? I got it. I think I did too. Bingo! Yep. It was Harrison Ford. Ah, yes. How I, I wish I, I had heard been that here story. then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew that. I don't think Jimmy Stewart was still with us or oh, yeah. Fred Astaire. And True. So it narrowed it down. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I and think. I knew Harrison Ford. He flies. So. That's right. He flies. Yep. Yeah. Like so, Indiana Jones. So you guys were great sports on this. <laughs> that was. You know what? That was a lot of fun. It, and it gets more fun. I mean, the questions that the kids have, the No Boundaries kids. Maggie and Jasmine um, have come up with really great questions, and we found photos to go with them. And the idea will be we'll be on teams, so you yeah. won't be playing against each other like you were here. Right. It'll be a team deal. Well, and this, doing it this way with your phone, is a, a it, great interactive way to do it. And it's easy, isn't it? School, schools use this, this Kahoot in their classrooms all the time. Is that right? Oh, all the time. This is why I yep. did poorly when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have, have cell phones when I was in school. The rotaries were tough to yeah. sit on the desk. And <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But this will be great um, because 
uh, we'll be in teams so you can help each other. You can, um, you know, work together to answer a question. And uh, we hope to have a, a local history expert here to kind of be the definitive right or wrong answer, you know, to. That's not me. That's <laughs> not me either. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to do this Saturday here. Again, like I said, okay. one o'clock. One o'clock. One o'clock here. Great fun. No pressure. And then um, on Thursday, April 13th, we're going to be taking this to the big time at West O. Oh, a night at West O with Dickinson County Daddy, Trivia. That's right. And lots of fun. And the kids will be there. And um, yeah. we're looking forward to, if this works out as well as we know it's going to, we'll be doing many more of these. Oh, absolutely. It'll become I kind of a monthly thing. Here. Yeah. More off. It's fun. It's really, fun. I, it really is. And, and you, know, you learn else? stuff. You learn. You know, it's yeah. not just a, okay, I know this trivial knowledge, but you're learning as it goes on too. So Exactly. It is it's a great it's a great thing. And for all ages. Yeah, exactly. And, and the photos would lend itself to getting people to come in and see more. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And actually, when we're doing it for, for real groups, um, we'll have this put up on the big screen right. so everybody will see the, the photos. And yeah, oh. yeah, it'll be fun. Just another way to, to do history here in Dickinson County. Yeah, and have fun with it. Yeah. And history should be fun. It is, well, because it is. <laughs> you keep learning stuff every day yes, and finding do. stuff. I know you do. Frank keeps finding stuff. And yeah. We're very fortunate. So. Yeah. All right, and way back Wednesdays. Yes, continue. we are moving back here to the museum oh, next okay. week, and it will go back to ten o'clock on Wednesday mornings here at the museum. Right here at the museum. Yes. Bring your yes. own coffee. No, no, no. We fully supply coffee. All right. Coffee's on, and just a little heads up: we have some special members-only events coming up. So if you're not a member yet, look into membership because there's some good things. And April twenty-seventh. John Smeltzer is going to be doing a presentation on the Orleans Hotel. Look at you enticing people to become oh, members and have bet. fun here at the museum. And we are. And we are. All right, very good. Frank, Mary, thank you for being here with us. Thank, thank you, you for beating me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and thank you, Jeff, for being such a good sport you know today. What? I, I, I can make a guess as good as anybody. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, we want to thank Frank and Mary for being here with us today. Remember, the Dickinson County Museum is where history comes alive, even with a little trivia for you, for you coming up. Thank you for watching us right here on Okoji Broadcast. Okaboji Broadcast from the studios at Historic Arnold's Park Amusement Park is brought to you in part by the Scott Troutman State Farm Agency in Spirit Lake, Quest Wealth Management, a financial advisory practice of Ameriprise Financial Services, advisor Jan Spielman, A.J. Spielman, and Erica Wachholz. The headquarters of the University of Okaboji is at the Three Suns, open Monday through Saturday 10 to 5 and Sunday from 10 to 4. Bank Midwest, dream big, plan wisely, live well. Lakes Regional Healthcare and Avera Partner. Ruth Van Locker at the Lake, where carnivores are welcome on Hill Avenue in Spirit Lake. Beck Engineering in Spirit Lake. B Radiant Laser Skin Studio in the Okaboji Plaza in Okaboji. 